And speaking of art, today the Agnes Pelton Society invited the community to tour the homes of Cathedral City artists in the Cove. The self-guided tour commemorated the 70th anniversary of when famed artist Agnes Pelton's home was first used as a gallery in Cathedral City. KMIR's Vince Marino takes us inside that historic home. Since the 1930s, the Cathedral City Cove has been an artist's sanctuary. And once a year, those artists open up their homes to the public. It uh, gives us an opportunity to uh, highlight a number of the artists who live in the Cathedral City Cove. There are probably over 70 artists in the Cove at the moment. The tour featured historic adobe, pre-World War II, and mid-century homes, each with an artist working their magic for all to watch. This work is kind of editorial um, portraits, um, bringing the emotions of women into contemporary life. While every house on the tour had its own special charm, the home of famed Cathedral City artist Agnes Pelton is probably the most storied. Her home was very important to her. She lived in an actual windmill that was famous in Long Island before she came here. So um, she put a lot of thought into, in, into this. She settled in the Cove in 1932 and started to paint from here. And this is where she painted all of her um, she was known for her desert paintings, like the smoke trees and the dates. In 1947, Pelton opened her home as the first art gallery in Cathedral City. And she was pretty amazing and esoteric, and local people just think of her as a desert artist, and basically she did that to eat. After moving to the desert, Pelton's paintings began to change. In 1930, she was doing these incredible, incredible, uh, uh, colorful and, and um, transcendental paintings. Vince Marino, KMIR News.